When it comes to laser engraving and cutting, one brand that really makes a name for itself is Mumport. They've actually rolled out a bunch of solid affordable machines over the years, whether you're just starting out or you're deep into the engraving game. You've probably seen their diode lasers, maybe even their CO2 models. But today we're looking at something a little different. This one's a fiber laser. This is the Monport GA30 30 watt integrated fiber laser engraver. Unlike diode lasers, which usually operate around 550 to 555 nanometers and are awesome for things like wood, cork, leather, and other organic materials, fiber lasers like this one play in a whole different league. This guy runs at 1064 nanometers, and this is ideal for materials like metals and certain types of plastics. That higher wavelength lets you do things diode lasers just can't handle. Like marking stainless steel, aluminium, brass, even gold if you're feeling bold. Now with all that said, and with a price tag like this, it really begs the question, can this thing actually pay for itself in the long run? So the burning question is, is this product truly worth that asking price? Well let's first start by unboxing it. Now we're not going to spend too much time on the whole unboxing and setup process, there are already plenty of videos from the manufacturer that cover that. That said, I've got to give credit where it's due, Monport really went above and beyond with this unit. The unboxing experience honestly is pretty amazing. Everything was packed super well, clearly labelled, and you could tell they actually put thought into the user experience. It felt more like opening a premium piece of gear, not just another tool off the shelf. So once everything's unboxed and laid out, it's time to get the Monport GA30 laser set up for its first run. Thankfully, most of the heavy lifting is already done at the factory, and the machine ships nearly fully assembled. The first thing you'll notice is that the laser arm is folded down flat in the box for shipping. To set up right, you just lift up the arm into a vertical position. This is really where the portability of this machine actually shines. There's a hinge on one side that lets it pivot smoothly, and on the opposite side you'll see two threaded holes where it locks into place. Now it is worth noting that this unit needs to be connected to your PC to run, kind of like how the older diode lasers worked before they started adding internal controllers. There is no onboard screen or DSP controller here, it's all software driven, so do keep that in mind. For some this may be a little bit of a letdown, but honestly for batch production it really isn't something you need. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the features of this unit because it is packing. Monport's autofocus system is designed to give you a quick precise setup with minimal effort and it does that really really well. To put it simply, this technology automatically adjusts the height of the laser head to the perfect distance from your material without you needing to manually adjust the focus yourself. The best part is, the precision is actually pretty exceptional, with an error margin of less than 1mm. That's a pretty significant advantage when working with intricate designs that require high accuracy. Once the machine is powered up and ready to go, using the autofocus is as easy as pressing the button. The system detects the surface of your material, then moves the laser head up and down to achieve the ideal focus point. It's right where the beam needs to be for the sharpest, most precise engraving. I'll be honest, the first time I used the autofocus feature, I was a bit sceptical. I've used plenty of other laser machines where manually focusing was the norm and getting that dialed in just right could be time consuming. But funny enough, with this one, it took all of 5 seconds to see how simple and effective the autofocus actually is. When it comes to laser engraving, speed and precision are critical factors, especially if you're working on large projects or with intricate designs. Monport has integrated advanced Galva monitor scanning technology into the GA30 fiber laser, which actually elevates its performance really well. A galvanometer is a type of motorized mirror used in high-speed scanning systems. In laser systems, these are actually used to direct the beam across the surface of the material. 
Essentially, the Galvo system uses mirrors that are moved by motors, allowing lasers to scan across the material in a pattern which is determined by your design. It is pretty cool. Unlike traditional laser systems where the laser head itself moves along the X and Y axis, the Galvo system uses these mirrors to rapidly adjust the beam's position. This technology is extremely useful for fiber lasers like this one because it allows the laser to mark with high precision without the need for moving a heavy laser head over large distances. The result is undoubtedly a much more stable and rapid marking process where the laser moves quickly and accurately to create sharp designs. The marking speed can reach up to 10,000 millimeters a second, which is pretty insane. Now there's no doubt this kind of speed is particularly advantageous when you're working on large volumes of work or engraving detailed designs across broad areas. If you're engraving small parts in batches or creating intricate fine details that need to be processed quickly, this is where this machine actually really shines. One of the really cool features that doesn't get enough attention but actually makes a huge difference once you start using the machine is that 90 degrees vertical arm rotation. This basically means the laser head can pivot up to 90 degrees in either direction, which opens up a whole new world of possibilities when it comes to how you actually engrave. Now from my own experience using this, the flexibility actually is a game changer. With the arm tilted just slightly forward, I was able to get a nice clean engraving on a large object that simply wouldn't have fitted on the work plate. This could be things like furniture, luggage and so much more. I've even done some light marking on pre-assembled components without needing to reassemble them, just because the laser could be angled to reach exactly where I needed it. The other thing that stood out to me from the first few test runs was how sharp and crisp the engravings actually come out. Even on small intricate designs, I ran a couple of high detailed logos and the unit handled it like a champ. The lines were razor clean, no overlapping, no weird etching artifacts or fuzzy edges. It honestly looked like the design was printed with ink, not burned with a laser. If you've worked with other budget lasers before, you know how frustrating it can be when the result just doesn't line up with your design because of minor shifts or misalignments. And thankfully, that just hasn't been the case here for me. You set it up, you run it, and it hits the mark pretty much every single time. Now, as mentioned before, where this really shines is in the materials it can use like aluminium, stainless steel, anodized metals, and even some plastics like ABS or PVC. The contrast is actually really good. You get this deep, rich black on stainless steel, bright white on anodized aluminium, and super high contrast markings on black or dark coated surfaces. So the unit is fully compatible with Lightburn and that's honestly one of the best parts about using this machine. If you spend any time in the laser or CNC world, you already know that Lightburn is kind of the gold standard. And now that they've rolled out support for fiber lasers, it opens up a ton of new functionalities that used to be limited to just diode and CO2 users. You can control power, speed, frequency, pulse width and layers independently. That is super important with a fiber laser, especially when you're working on complex projects that involve different materials or effects like deep engravings, surface markings, or even color changing. It does support real-time preview and framing so you can line up the material perfect before committing. It is a powerhouse of a laser and pairing it with a professional grade software just like this, well, it makes the whole experience so much better. So I ran this machine through a pretty thorough test, hitting everything from stainless steel and aluminium to anodized tags, coated metals, brass, plastics, and even some experimental materials just to see how it could do. However, I will say metals are where this unit really flexes. I have to admit, anodized aluminium is great fun with this. The laser just melts through the anodized layer, giving you bright white engravings against a solid colored background. It's just perfect for nameplates, business cards, or tags. I have to admit, the contrast is vibrant and super high visibility. No need to fill or paint anything afterwards. Clean edges, consistent depth is the kind of finish you'd expect from a machine that costs three to four times more than this. So it did impress me. 
You might not think of a fibre laser for plastics, but with the right settings, it does a solid job. I tested it on ABS and certain coated acrylics. Just a heads up though, you'll want to be in a well-ventilated area because some of the materials put off some really horrible gases. But performance-wise, smooth, consistent marks with no warping or bubbling. Now, all in all, this machine really surprised me. The marking speed with that Galvo head is no joke. We're talking up to 10,000 millimeters a second, and you feel it when you're running the jobs. It is so fast. It just blazes through large batch work without skipping a beat. That 90 degrees adjustable arm, well, that is a huge plus too. I could rotate the arm, place an object below, focus it, and boom, marked it clean without needing a rotary attachment. It is really fantastic. And the autofocus, honestly, is one of the features you didn't realize you need until you use it. One click, it dials in the Z height perfectly, and you're ready to go. No fumbling with calibers or stacking coins under the lens. So is this machine for everyone, and is it worth the asking price? Well, if you're someone who's looking to step into the professional-grade laser engraving market, especially if you're working with metals, coated surfaces, or even want to experiment with colour engraving, the Monport GA13 Mopa Fibre Laser is absolutely worth considering. It just combines speed, precision, and versatility in a way that usually is preserved for much higher-end machines. But at a surprisingly accessible price point. It's not just for businesses either. If you're a hobbyist, creatist, or side hustler looking to scale up your project or open up new product options, this machine gives you the capability to do that. Is it for everyone? Probably not. If you're working with woods or organic materials, a diode or CO2 laser might be a better fit. But if metal is even just a part of your workflow, or you want to future-proof your setup, this machine is a solid investment. So yeah, if you're on the fence, I'd say go for it. It's powerful, reliable, and ready to earn its keep. As always, be sure to check this product out in the link in the description. Let me know what you think. Till next time.